<laughs> Wait, I gotta see. I'm ready for your poem. You ready for my poem? Mm -hmm. Okay. What's today? It's salmon. <laughs> okay. So, this is my gift to you is this beautiful poem. Well, I hope you think it's beautiful. Okay. Samhain is here, my sweet little witch. I got a hold of Matilda and we made a switch. There's clues in this poem about what you've got. You must listen closely. It will tell you a lot. You're going to step inside and go through a door. Only then you'll get to hear more. Go to a place where you can sit in the breeze. Gaze at the water and out at the trees. There's a red lantern with candles that slumber next to a place where we can find a cucumber. Where do you go first? Where's the... Okay, where's the red lantern? It's right here. It is. Okay, so I'll bet you're excited. There's too much to measure. You're so very close to finding your treasure. So Matilda's gifts are in paper and mine are within walls. Everything is for you, no matter how big or how small. I hope you'll like what we have done. This Samhain has been incredibly fun. You need to find the, pri the pirate skull who marks the spot where you will find the things you've got. Stop when you find it. Just look, don't touch. There's one last thing to hear, so no need to rush. Okay, so it's somewhere where you can have a pirate school. It's somewhere where you have a school. Mm. This house. We have lots of schools in this house. That's kind of hard. The pirate school will mark the spot where you can find the things you've got. Stop when you find it. Just look, don't touch. There's one last thing to hear, so no need to rush. Pirate skull. Pirate skull. Right here. No. Here. No. <laughs> Here. I guess we need to go to another place. Maybe it's out here. It doesn't look that way. Let me turn on some lights. Sometimes lights help. Let's see. Hold on, look at. Oh, that's a skeleton. That's not a pirate skull. It's a skeleton. Hmm. Where have you not looked at? Well, I doubt it would be there. Kind of messy, but you could look. Well, I can try. You certainly can. Maybe it is. And that's the place that I know that there's a pirate school. At least one. Turn off the lights. I'm gonna check my bathroom. Maybe it's in there. I mean, it could also be in your room. Hmm. Where do you want to go? How about let's go to your room. Okay. 
Let me slightly move. Oh goodness. Here. You wanna go this way? I mean is it is it there? No, there's no pirate tools in here. Who knows what my top is? Oh look! Oh, oh. oh. I love you so much. And you bring such joy to this place. So I hope you'll enjoy your new private space. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I love you too. <laughs> you like her? Yes, Mama. Thank you. <laughs> Go check it out. This thing is actually just my new room. Yes, ma'am. So this is my new room? This is your new room. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. This is awesome. So I wanted to leave you lots of things so you can keep adding. But what's your favorite color? Red. What are you there's wearing red, today? Red. <laughs> oh. And there's red pillows, a red tree, red lights. And I also like how black goes with red. And there's black and white. So you see red red anywhere other than uh, here around the bed? Little pops of red? The lights, the tree, the ceiling light. Oh. Uh -huh. the first time you've got a ceiling light in here in forever. Fan. It sure does. I see red pillows. I see red lights in the counters. <laughs> Check up even there. So we're going to work on your closet. <laughs> Guess what? Awesome. Your fan plays music too. <laughs> so you have to remember that I worked with Matilda. So her gifts were in paper and mine were in walls. But no matter how big or how small, they're all for you. <laughs> how about you go open them up? Thank you, Mama. You're welcome. Also go and take a hmm? That's I okay. Think, I think it was the eight. It is. It's yesterday. No. Oh, it's, it's a different eight today. Oh, it's a new one? Mm hmm. Oh. What do you think it is? It's a new crayon box. Thank no Matilda. <laughs> Thank you, Matilda. <laughs> There's no way I'm losing this at school now. That's my name on it. <laughs> she did good. Mm -hmm. That must have taken a lot of spells to get that one. Good thing you had so much candy. <laughs> <laughs> that, so she really got paid. But you're not this. guessing what's in the box. It's a big box. It feels full. Oh. Very full. I mean, it wouldn't feel full unless there's something in it. Right? I don't know. That's a like wrapping paper. It's very pretty. Let's see what's inside. I think it's probably something awesome. Mm. Matilda is awesome. But I'm not sure exactly what it is. Put either a glass to warm it or a crystal. Ooh, it'll match with your room. My little witchy bedroom. <laughs> I always find your bedroom. And then we could turn that bedroom into like a stair. Your bedroom or another room. Mm hmm. Plates for all your toys and. Just to maybe more mature. I like the bedroom. Okay. Let's see. Okay. So I have a cool crayon box. I have a cool little broom thing for a crystal ball. Mm hmm. So I'm going to open this next one. I'm going to save the biggest one for last. 
What do you think it is? I think it is something. Maybe it's like some sort of doll, maybe? Uh, so I guess let's find it out. Wait, wait. That would be a very strange sewing thing. I didn't put out any any kitchen things for Matilda. Like I didn't put out candy. Now, Wait, what's in it? I don't know. What's in that? Wait, I don't think that it's that. I mean, you only looked at the outside. Oh, there's another no way to unwrap. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was kitchen there. I, I did happen to tell Matilda that we like to put things in other things for sneaky. What is that? It's an axolotl. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they made axolotl like plushies. They did. I saw it on Amazon. You found one on Amazon? I found multiple on Amazon because what my friends even have them. No way. They're they're very popular animals now. <laughs> I didn't know that. They're so cute. You have a very strange favorite animal. <laughs> does it look like an axolotl? It kind of does. <laughs> <laughs> they, they normally do have like big, big mouths. Big mouths? My goodness. So, that's, no, I wonder what this is. It sounds like a book. A book? Mm -hmm. How big is that book? I don't know. It could be many books. I mean, I did ask for many books. Oh, that's where you're going from the list. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. I did ask for many books to fill my bookshelves. That's true. Because I was as wanting as new reads, new worlds to explore. You know that your headboard has three secret shelves on each side so that you can have your books and things oh. right there. Awesome. And your bed has four drawers in it. I know. It's no, very... underneath you. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Come with me, Gilbert. Come. Come, Gilbert. Oh, my heaven. Uh -huh. And look at the it's side of your bed. More. There's so much storage. Uh huh. And then you have. Um. All of the um of your furniture has USB plugs and outlets. Which is awesome. The bed, so the, the dressers, speakers, lights. This is this is the best room <laughs> ever. But I still haven't think think that this is books. But I guess we shall find out. I thought that was kind of that was probably a bit naive of me to think you got me kitchenware. <laughs> <laughs>
noises. It made noises. Is it alive? Papered it with all of your spooky wallpaper. something for you. Shaped, huh? It's book shaped. So I'm gonna take the rubber bands off of both of them. Now I'm gonna open up this one first. This must have been a lot of wrapping paper. <laughs> Poor Matilda, I feel bad. I feel bad. I feel bad. She, she used a lot of wrapping paper on this one. <laughs> What? They're the I survived books. <gasps> kind of thin. Wait, but like, 
Which ones? Are they from your list? Yes. I just need to unwrap the names a little bit more. Then I can tell you which ones. Hurricane Katrina, the Great Molasses Flood, the sinking of the Titanic, and the attacks of September 11th. Was those on Matilda's yes. list? Yes. No way. Well, I survived because I love the adventure in these books. Even though they're really short, they have a lot of adventure and so I really like them. So even though they're short, they really don't feel that short because there's so much adventure going on in your head. Right? Ooh. Adventure times. Does that mean that like, I'll get to like read with you? Accessible. Let me see if I can open this. Hmm, this doesn't look like four books. This looks like one book. I don't know. No, I saw it. It's... Oh, wait, no. It's multiple books. It's more. How many books did you ask Matilda for? I asked Matilda for 11. California wildfires because I borrowed the one that I already read, the Battle of D-Day, the bombing of Pearl Harbor, and the Nazi invasion. Holy crow. Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> My I do. So I also got some big giant frames for the fancy new printer so that if you want to frame your paper or photos or print posters so we can put whatever kind of artwork or things you want in your bedroom. And I didn't put the drapes up because I wanted you to get to choose whether you wanted red drapes with like black at the top or black drape, red or white, black and red or white or whatever you want to your room. And I do have somebody coming and we're going to zhuzh up your closet, but we're going to get it all measured so it fits your clothes at your size. So it's a whole new closet system and there's all sorts of things to go new up here. Room, new everything. It's awesome. You like this it? Is my room. Happy Samhain! Thinking about this room is awesome! Everything about it is awesome!